For this project, you will need your book of shadows, quill pen or fine tip brush, and dragon's blood ink. You may draw guidelines first to make sure everything is lined up. On this page, we will copy down the 13 goals of witchcraft. These are goals every witch should strive to achieve in their everyday life. The goals of witchcraft are a modern invention. The original version was written by Scott Cunningham and first appeared in his book, Wicca for the Solitary Practitioner, published in 1988. The version we are using today is a slightly modified version. The first goal of witchcraft is know thyself. This means seeing our strengths and recognizing our weaknesses or shortcomings to improve upon ourselves as followers of the craft. Know thy craft is the second goal. Witchcraft is a constant study. Knowing the correspondence, astrology, elements, sabbats, and espats is an important part of being a witch. But it is important to know that anything we learn in the world can be applied to witchcraft. Learn about many different paths in order to see how paganism fits into history and other world religions. It is important not only to read, but to practice. 3. Always continue learning. There is always something to discover. We are always the neophyte. Learn not only from books, but from practice and from our mistakes. It is also important to study the gods, myths, and lore of the pantheon you choose to follow. Four, apply knowledge with wisdom. Before we act, we must think on the reason for our actions and the consequences of those actions. All energy we send out comes back to us. If we send out positivity, that is what we will receive. If we send out curses, we must be ready for the returning energy. Positive energy returns threefold. Negative energy returns ninefold. Five, strive to achieve balance. There is balance in nature, therefore, balance must be present in paganism. The dark balances out the light and the negative lets us appreciate the positive. The other is not evil. It is two sides of the same coin, and all is necessary in our universe. Six, keep your thoughts words, and deeds, healthy, honest, and productive. This means no self-defeating thoughts, and there is no room for doubt. 
Worry and doubt in spell work only pulls the energy back and nothing gets accomplished. There should be no negative words, both towards others and to ourselves. Constructive criticism is healthy, but there is no need to be negative or cruel. And we should always keep our deeds productive. We work to improve ourselves and the world around us even if it is in a small way. And remember to never lose sight of your goals. This is a philosophy and a way of life. We don't dabble or play at our craft. Seven, attune to the cycles of the earth. I am often surprised by the number of witches who don't celebrate Sabbaths or Esbats. Even if you don't have a coven or a ritual written up, we should find time to connect to the cycle we are in. The cycles of the earth we live on are the foundation of our religion. Learn the sabbats and seasons and cycles of the moon. The espats seem to be overlooked these days, and witches have gotten lazy when keeping time. Espats are a time for work, sabbats a time to celebrate and honor the gods. Both are important. 8. Eat well and exercise the body. This is important and too often neglected. Our body's health affects our mood and our mind. Both physical and mental health go hand in hand. These are not separate. We must take care of the body we are in. The body is a temple and should be treated as such. Nine, meditate and visualize. We meditate to clear and calm our mind. We practice visualization to improve our spell work. Visualization is not just images. This also includes smell, taste, sound, and feeling. The stronger our visualization skills are, the more successful our spell work will be. 10. Celebrate life. Every day should be a celebration of life. Life is a gift and should be celebrated as much as possible with the limited time we have on Mother Earth. Eleven, respect the masculine and feminine duality in nature. Day and night, summer and winter, ebb and flow, male and female, god and goddess. In both Western Hermeticism and Eastern thought, both are two necessary halves that make a whole. There are traditions that worship or recognize only the goddess and female aspect. I feel that this was a response to the male-only god of the Abrahamic religions that have dominated our society. 
I can see where these Dianic Covens would see this as balancing out society, but I feel that honoring both male and female brings us closer to our ancestors and their ways. We need that balance within our own covens and in ourselves. Twelve, honor and respect all life. This includes plants, animals, and all other life on the earth we share. Even the food we consume should be taken with thanks and respect paid to the life that was given up to feed us. Thirteen, live in the present. Don't dwell on the past you can't change, and don't let the unknown future worry you. As witches, we need to get back to structure in our practice. Read these goals daily and put them into practice. We should all strive to be better witches and better people. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel to keep up to date on all of our projects. Don't forget to like and share. Blessed be.